my god, how are you, little buddy? Oh, you're so cute. Oh. Damn, another girl trying to have pet me without consent. I should show her what I got. Jesus Christ. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rusks are pretty cute, but always be aware of their intentions. No, but seriously, I've been using Rust myself as another choice of avatar since they are so convenient and are pretty epic to use, but I'm probably not the only one who likes to wear this type of avatar. There are dozens of Rust related worlds with dozens of different individual versions of that avatar. From a Rust driving a BMW to a Rust shooting freaking dual wield guns? That's pretty cool and all, but why is this avatar so popular and why are there so many worlds for and about Rust? Rusk. Let's find out. Rusk in Ratchet. What is a Rusk? First, the original Rusk avatar has been made by another booth creator named Komado on booth.pm. Komado also created a few more really known avatars that I will surely cover sooner or later this year as well. Like for example Mint and Karen. Rusk is another very popular avatar that you can find on the top list of the most bought and liked avatars on this website, even being bought and liked more than Rindu, which I also made a video about. With around 40 to 50 bucks, you're able to get yourself one Rusk main avatar base to customize to your liking and I'm telling you, when it comes to customizing your Rusk, you have a ton of accessories to choose on booth.pm. Just like with Rindu, you can choose between different hair color, clothing, nails, and hairstyles. This makes Rusk easy to personalize, but if you for example don't have the money or patience to buy or create a Rusk for your own, then let me show you a few tricks. There are tons of avatar worlds completely focused around the Rusk avatar and one of them is called Asia Infinity by Mao Mao. Here you have the options to choose between around 50 different versions of Rusk, and if that's still not enough for you, then my other recommendation would be Prismix Avatar Search, where you can simply just look for Rusk and find tons of options and versions of that avatar base. But what makes Rusk so popular? Rusks are very popular. Period. Rusks are not only completely customizable, unisex, which means that every gender can wear it and super easy to use, but it is also quest compatible. Users on a quest 2 can use such Rusk avatars as well, making these avatars very popular amongst these HMD users. There's at least one Rusk Aww. avatar in the Black Cat and probably in other known and popular worlds as well. Simply said, Rusk can be used by anyone. Of course, there's a little issue that comes with being a Rusk. First, you are small. Very, very small. Compared to a normal sized avatar like Kikyo, you only reach up to the knees and some might say that worlds are apparently getting smaller just because of the avatars that are small. The other thing is that since Rusk can be worn by anyone due to compatibility and customizability, Rusk is pretty overused in VRChat. But whatever, it's a cool and cozy avatar anyways. I mean, I really like it. And Look, what do you think about my Tupper cosplay? Wow. And to summarize it all up, Rusk is customizable, compatible, small, sweet and super dangerous. Everyone can become a Rusk with one click and I'm sure that everyone has seen at least one user in a Rusk avatar as well. Though Rusk avatars might be overused and with that world's getting smaller, this avatar is still a go if you still haven't found what choice of avatar you want to go for. But I'm sure that subscribing to this channel will help you find the right avatar, especially if you take a look at my other video about the Rindo avatar. Super neat and I really do recommend this one. Like this video to grow in size and whatever you do, don't storm a rusk. I wish I could adopt you. Oh, you look so small. You could even fit in my shoe. Bye. <laughs>